All right, so I'm going to be showing how you change your oil. Um, when you do gig work, uh, oil changes is what you're going to have to do frequently. I'd suggest doing it every 3,000 miles with regular. Um, and I've hit my 3,000 mark with this car on the trip odometer. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. First thing, you're going to have to jack up the car. Just get the jack going. And I'd, suggest, I'd suggest putting a stopper in the back of the car. So, kind of like that and then you'd put the jack up like this so put the jack up one end pump it up and then put a jack stopper right there and then jack up the other end right there forgot to mention too because i did this before i started recording before i decided to make a video on it uh make sure that this is up or this is unscrewed as well unscrewed right there that'll make the oil flow out faster all right so and then you find the oil pan which is right here and you unscrew the little screws right there depends on what your oil pan is they might have screws they might not um, then you place it underneath where the oil plug is which the oil plug is right underneath the car right there see that and then uh, you're gonna have to unscrew the oil plug which the oil plug is oil plug is right there you see where it says engine oil it's this one right there so then you unscrew that let the oil drain out while this is dripping out you should also unscrew the oil filter and see oil filter right here might need a little tool but sometimes you can do it by hand you know I'm gonna need to grab my tool and this will also drain out oil too all right, so once when the oil filter is all drained out, uh, this still got a little bit more to go. Um, you can put the oil filter in right now, the new replacement one. All right, so before you get the new oil in or the new oil filter down, uh, first thing I'd suggest is just dipping your finger in some of the new good oil and then just lubricating the rubber thingy with your finger the rubber gasket um, I'll make sure that I'll prevent cracking this will get it all lubed up and then uh, after that you just screw it in there just screw it in there after that all right so once when you get the new oil filter hand tightened um, as you can see right here uh, it's starting to drip some crappy oil this is the crappiest of the crappiest of oil I'd get some decent oil right here, some good oil, and just kind of pour it down as it's draining. Just pour like a quart or something, not too much, kind of like that much in there. And then that will kind of clean out the rest of the crappy oil that's just dripping out. That will kind of make it flow out better and make it go a bit quicker. And then uh, ready to get the next step going. All right, so now that you've uh, put your oil in the car and got it to around the recommended amount, uh, just take the funnel out and then screw the cap back on. You want to do a bit less than the oil capacity, which this car is 3.9. You want to do it a little bit less than that. You want to have it between the between the oil capacity and what they want you to have it at the least so you want to have it just a little bit less than the oil capacity um, boom you got the cap back on and then close the hood and then uh, you're all set with the car doing this one-handed is no good all right so 
After that, you turn on the car and let your car run for a bit. And then uh, you dump this oil into a new container, which I'll dump this oil right there into this container right here.